calcium extend or shorten life? And can too much tea damage bones? Those are some of the questions in tonight's viewer mail with registered dietitian Nancy Dell. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. I read that calcium may help me live longer, but can cause early death if I take too much. How much do we need? That comes from Maria via the internet. Eating adequate calcium can reduce osteoporosis, blood pressure, cholesterol, and your risk of colon cancer. Therefore, it can help you live longer. However, a Canadian study shows too much calcium can increase a woman's risk of dying 22%. This is only in women, not in men. So how much calcium do you need? The Institute of Medicine recommends 1,200 milligrams a day total. That includes food and supplements. One cup of plain yogurt is 400 milligrams. The milk is 300. A cup of cooked spinach is 250 milligrams. And one cup of white beans or cottage cheese has 200 milligrams. So know how much calcium you get from food before you take a supplement. If you can't figure it out, make an appointment with a registered dietitian to help you. Okay, we like it spelled out for us. So is the calcium amount on the label? Well, you can tell the, the milligrams of calcium on the label if you look at the percent calcium in the food and add a zero. So if a food says 30 percent calcium, add a zero, and it's 300 milligrams in a serving. Okay, very good. Next question. Green tea is so good for you, but can you drink too much? That comes from Susan in Northampton. You can definitely drink too much. We know that between three to five cups a day of green or black tea can reduce your risk of coronary artery disease or a stroke by 20%. It can reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes 16% and may reduce some cancers. However, green and black tea contain fluoride. Too much fluoride can cause brittle bones and brittle teeth. The New England Journal of Medicine has reported cases where 14 cups of tea a day damaged teeth and bones. In one case, a woman drank fluid made from 100 tea bags a day and had to have all her teeth extracted. So remember, too much of anything is bad. It's just as bad as too little. That's right. Oh my gosh, look at that. Thank you so much, Nancy. And if you have a question for her, you can write to her via the address on your screen or you can log on to our website, wwlp.com.